Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Midnight Suns Blade one third scale from PCS. PCS is Premium Collectible Studios. This is the first time I've ever bought any statues or any piece from them. Most of my statues are from Prime One, Sideshow, and Iron Studios. So I was excited to see the quality of this. Right off the bat, there's two of these art boxes. So this is one of those where they ship the base and then uh, the rest of the body and uh, the rest of the base in, a, in another box completely. Two of these big art boxes. I didn't think there was any reason to show both of these, but um, massive art boxes shipped very, very well. Same kind of quality as Prime One Sideshow type shipping. This is number 184 out of 400. Small edition size on this. I've had this pre-ordered for some time um, because, to be honest with you, there has not been a Blade statue, in my opinion, worth getting. There was previously some Blade statues that I was super interested in, specifically the Reaper bust from Blade 2. That's like a grail statue for me. If I can ever find one at a reasonable price, there were so few of those. It's an incredible piece. This is from... Uh, the gamer verse, uh, Midnight Suns. So, if you guys uh, are familiar with the video game scene, there was a there was a video game came out not too long ago. It was kind of like a turn based, um, you know, kind of like XCOM type game featuring the Midnight Suns. When I saw this come up, I was like, Oh God, are they gonna? It, it, it has to be the likeness of Wesley Snipes. I mean, that's Blade, and thankfully. That's what we got in this. So, uh, without further ado, um, let's take this out of the box, show you guys some close-ups of the entire statue built, talk about some of the dimensions, and what I think about the piece. Alright, so here he is in all his glory. Um, right off the bat, this thing is massive. Huge third scale piece. The base is huge. You've got multiple kind of like neonate uh, vampires slash demons coming out of this base. We have multiple head sculpts, multiple swap outs for the hands, which I'll show you all that in close up. But my initial impressions with, with this was just impressive, commanding. I love the pose on this. You still have that kind of Captain Morgan, you know, classic museum type one one leg up type pose but he is in an action shot leaning forward cape flowing beautiful sculpted cape the leather effect on that cape looks incredible all right i just wanted to kind of show you guys the scale of me compared to to this thing so um let's get an even closer look and take take a look at some of the details because that's where this piece really really shines all right, let's take a closer look at this bad boy. This thing is imposing. So right off the bat, a lot of what you're seeing is plastic and polystone. As far as I can tell, there is no metal on this. The blade from blade is not metal at all, which is kind of a bummer. The leather effect is pretty sweet and the body is all one piece. So you don't see any seams. They've done a really good job of hiding that neck seam down under that collar. But these sunglasses are like the star of the show. They kind of like clip in to the back behind the ear. There's a little groove, which I'll show you here in a bit. They nailed his hair. They nailed the skin tone. The mouth looks great. Um, the gums look good. The facial hair looks good. This cape is incredible. Um, well, it's not really a cape, but it's his jacket is flowing incredible sculpted you can see the, the pistols uh, on his belt there and then his stakes uh, those were all um, loose so you kind of put them down in that little holster there and then the other star of the show is this base um, I mean you're pretty much getting how many demons are on here two four five five vampire sculpted heads and I mean they're all like high quality you would be happy to just have one of those heads on any sculpture you have or any any statue you have. Um, I think the they're I think they've kind of done a really neat little trick where some of the hands are visible. One of them's kind of reaching up, trying to grasp at him, 
And then some of them have kind of had their arms and hands cut off. That's a kind of cool little trick so that there's less going on down there. But it makes it feel like it's it's on a pile. Oh, there's six heads. Sorry. There's six separate heads. Um, it's kind of like he's on top of a pile of these things and they're all you know, disintegrating because, you know, when he cuts them, they, they turn to ash and smoke. And um, the the actual physical base, like that rock base, it's pretty good. It's fine. But let's just face facts. You're not going to be looking at <laughs> the rock base. Here you can really take a look at how impressive this leather cape is. This thing's got a really small footprint for how big this is. I got it at like 12, 13 inches or so. I mean, this can go next to your other smaller size pieces as far as a, a base goes. And then in height, you know, that's that's where it's going to, that's where you got to have some room because I'm, I'm seeing like 29, 28 inches depending on the highest point and depending on the swap outs. And speaking of swap outs, you get three portraits here and then you've got this incredible open mouth portrait. Now that to me looks more like the gamer verse more like you know some other property that is not wesley snipes to me um so i won't be displaying it like that but this is this is incredible the the teeth the tongue the mouth is incredible wide open like that and then the hand alternative with the stakes those are cool but i'm not displaying it like that and there you can see the little groove behind the behind the ear so you could put the sunglasses on the open mouth portrait this is the other closed mouth portrait which is identical to the other portrait i just wanted you guys to see the eyes the glowing gold eyes um but this one does not have any groove behind the ear so those that's the the difference between the two head sculpts um I think any of the portraits would be fine to display it, but obviously the one with the sunglasses with the with the closed teeth, that's how I'm gonna display him. It's it just it's too good. And the sunglasses are just too cool. Guys, this is an incredible statue. Um, I would highly recommend this if you get an opportunity to get this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.